I'm building a fence, and the first thing I need to do to lay the fence out is to draw a string line from one end to the other. Well, that's like 135 feet of string, and the best way for me to get that string off the mark is to use a typical stake that you would drive into the ground. Basically, in my life of home improvement, every one of those I've ever put in has either broken while I've put it in or been easily moved. So I don't have time for that. I have my own routine that I do. It involves these safety glasses, one of my favorite tools, the angle grinder, and this piece of gas pipe right here. It's a four footer. I'm gonna cut it in half and put it into action as a base for my string line. I'll show you that right now. Oh, and these. Here we go. I'm gonna cut this at approximately 45 degree angle. And the next thing is we'll use these threads. I'm gonna show you how to do that at our fence layout location. Come with me. Okay. The next thing to do with an anchor like this, line it up with your property line. I've done that here with an existing retaining wall so I know where the property line is. I'm gonna set my bevel so it goes into the ground like that. And I'm gonna drive this in with my two pound maul, about a 45 degree angle, so that when I put tension on it this way, it's gonna resist. And there are no square edges or weird shape at the front to drive this off my mark. The point of this thing is to go where it goes and then to stay there for the millions of times I'm about ready to kick this string. Okay. Like this. So the last little nuance I put on this is instead of just pulling it taut, that'll work, um, but the longer the run goes, the more the sag is, the more tension you need. So what I do instead is just tie a simple knot called a trucker's hitch. And what that does is it gets it taut, it gets it straight, but then it keeps it taut. So I'm gonna kick this a bunch of times as we go and get it back around the threads up here. You can see how tight it is already. Another reason for the steel pipe is those threads. I use them to trap the line in here. So I'm pulling this. All the stretch is coming out of that. And I'll just lash it off with a half hitch. It's a little easier with rope, but boom. There you go. No sag, all accuracy. Let's build a fence. <laughs>